I'm Lenore, I'm a singer and a voice teacher. Today I'm going to show you how to develop your pitch awareness. If you're struggling to sing in tune and you don't know if you're singing in tune or not, you don't know if you're hitting the right pitches and you have no control over the matter, I'm going to show you how to use a very cool program called Singing Carrots to develop your pitch awareness because this is the first step that you can do to start singing in tune. Now it's important for me to say that if you know that you're hitting the wrong notes because you can hear it, not because other people told you, but if you're aware that your pitch is wrong sometimes or most of the times, uh, this is not a tutorial for you because you already have the awareness and you need to go and correct your singing technique and your vocal technique and free up your voice and I have a different video about it that I will link below but if you are in the stage when you have no idea what you're doing let's get going I'll show you what to do okay so now I'm here on the singing carrots uh, website um, they have a free version and uh, also a subscription the subscription is very affordable but I'm going to focus mainly on the free version to show you what you can get out of that so what I would do first is I will go to tools and you have a nice vocal range test just to see right now what's the lowest uh, note you have in your voice and what's the highest note you have in your voice and I recommend you click here on the warm me up because that will give you the best results you can see I teamed up with that uh, website uh, and made a little um, Two minute warm -up vocal warm-up here let's do it <laughs> So after you've done this, your vocal cords are a little bit more warmed up and they can stretch a little bit further and contract a little bit further. They can be more flexible and that will help you when you go to your vocal range test, which I recommend by the way that you do as often as you can. By the way, you see, <laughs> you see all the, the keys here just jumping around because this is getting input from my voice. So you can see when you talk, you also have pitch to your voice. I'm just going to go straight into it. I'm going to sing the lowest note that I comfortably can sing. That's my G3. And I'm going to go to my highest one. So that was for me what I have today a little bit after a little bit of warming up. So that's really nice. And you can test here if you can sing in tune. And they have exercises here. So they have basic exercise in every level. They have a basic exercise, they have a hard exercise, and then they have practice. For pitch awareness, I recommend that you focus on the basic and then on the practice. The hard is really hard. It's also a little bit training perfect pitch, and that's very advanced. So I would not use that for pitch training specifically um, and then you can go and do the basic if you want to repeat exercises or go to other levels then you have to get a subscription but here is how you can keep going for free so in tools you have pitch vocal pitch monitor so I can just see where my voice is here I can start playing with uh, singing low and singing high and seeing the needle quote-unquote go up and down that will start your awareness but if you really want to uh, make awareness for your pitch accuracy you go to pitch accuracy test and here i have my headphones on a very important point you should have wired headphones for this otherwise there can be a delay and the algorithm cannot pick up the software can't pick up the accuracy of your pitch if it comes delayed. Um, so you should have wired headphones and recommend that you do it on a laptop if you have one. If not, you can also do that on your phone. And here I'm gonna just listen. La. So you're supposed to hear the note and then repeat it. If you don't hit it, then it will also show you that you didn't hit it, hit it, but I'm going to show you that later. Let's just do the next step. La, 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 la. So, 
Now I can test. La, 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 la. Okay, I got it right. So if you don't get it right, it shows you where your voice is compared to where it should be. And you see here, the green mark is where my voice should be. I listen to it. La. So it just doesn't, um, it doesn't do anything until I get it right. La, 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 here, I got it. You can play around. I recommend a lot of sirens, like, mm, ooh, ooh, make all kinds of siren noises to play around with how your vocal cords stretch if you're experimenting with this phase of the exercise. Now, moving on. La, 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 la. So again, it won't do anything until you get it right. So you can play around with it until it comes out right. And then, of course, you can go to the test. La, la, la. I missed uh, a few notes on purpose to, to show you how it is, what, what's going to happen. And then you get your result. You see how many notes you got right. So if you want to correct the notes to make sure that they're the right notes, don't do that until you know what you're doing with your voice. So if you want to gain control over how far you stretch your vocal cords to get the correct pitch, you need to go and watch that other video I was talking about that I linked below on how to sing in tune. But this is for you a separate matter. You raise, you raise your awareness with this program and then in order to actually make changes in the pitch, you need to go and train with the other video. So when you have submitted your vocal range, you can also then go and find songs yeah, this is really helpful, by the way, especially for people who have pitch problems, because then you really want to take something with a short range. It will help you find uh, songs like here's a really cool short range song that you can already start working on. Mary Had a Little Lamb. Five notes. Yeah, really, really easy to sing, very catchy. Everybody knows it. So um, I would go and... Uh, work with that. In general, Singing Carrots is quite a rich platform. Um, they have games here for playing around with your uh, pitch and with your vocal exercises. And they have a library full of videos on how to learn to sing. And they have a huge library, as I showed you before, of songs that you can filter by style and range and all kinds of stuff like that. They have a really cool um, feature here called Spectrogram Recorder. It's supposed to show you the quality in your voice, not just the pitch, but that's cool. It's cool that you can do that. You can zoom in. You can go to different parts of the song. You can make a new recording and they can download it. So that's a cool feature. Have a video library, of the tutorials, and you have vocal analysis. You have many things going around here. So you can go ahead and explore it and use that tool to raise your pitch awareness. And if you do that in combination with a vocal technique, you'll start singing in tune more and more until you nail it. So have fun with that, enjoy singing, and hit me with any questions. Bye for now.